I'm known for two things in terms of the world, not my friends or my family. Two things. Nobody puts baby in a corner, and Jennifer Grey ruined her career, ruined her face, took away everything unique about her by being a slave to plastic surgery. But I never wanted a nose job. Jennifer Grey bearing it all in her deeply candid new memoir, Out of the Corner. Starting with the role that changed it all, starring as baby opposite Patrick Swayze in the cult classic, Dirty Dancing. You write about when you heard they wanted Patrick Swayze to play the part of Johnny Castle that you said, quote, anybody else please. Why? I did a movie with Patrick. Yes. Called Red Dawn. I found that his pranks and kind of his way, it just did not jive with my right. thing. And I didn't trust him. I felt like he wasn't serious. Well, or... I'm curious, did that play a role in your fear from doing the iconic? He was a serious dancer. And male ballet dancers, the whole deal is lifts. It was easy. It was for him, it was like, it was just like, you know, <laughs> like nothing for him. It was me. It was my fear, my lack of trust that somebody would take care of me. Nobody puts baby in a corner. You said he didn't want to say nobody puts baby in a corner, the most oh. famous movie line perhaps of all time. Adamant. Adamant. So how was he convinced? Fortunately, they said, let's just do one with that and one with something else, that old trick. And then they just used the one that they want. You write about wishing Patrick were alive. Mm -hmm. And you talk about all the things you would say to him. And one of them was, I wish I could tell him I'm sorry. I wish I could tell him a lot more than I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry is a thing that I would say, like, I'm sorry. We, I was just young and scared and had some idea of how it was supposed to be and wishing you were on time. And like, who cares? You were the best. You were the best Johnny I could ever, ever have had. But after Dirty Dancing's success, the parts didn't come pouring in. The young actress told by some it was her nose that was a problem. My dad had changed his nose. My mom had changed her nose. My grandmother had changed her nose. My aunt said it was a thing. And you resisted, as you point out. Mm -hmm. And then you write about why you finally decided. Right. It was a Jewish girl who was considered not pretty who would never have been looked at twice by the Patrick Swayze character. So I get this part, and it's hugely successful, but I made $50,000 when I made the movie, and now I'm famous, and I can't support myself. And I thought, okay, maybe, maybe I just have to say uncle. I'll do it, I'll do it. For your career? For my career, for my ability to support myself. So she got the surgery, but then needed a second operation to fix an issue caused by the first one it left her unrecognizable to many. To the point you write about flight attendants not believing that you were the actress, Jennifer Grey. It was just the woman at the checkout counter at the airline and she attacked me as if I was trying to get away with something. What did that feel like? Surreal, dude. Surreal. It was like being invisible. And in terms of my career, it was devastating. Thank God you're right. You know, we've been worried sick about you. Grey's star was on the rise when she landed her breakout role in the 1986 film, Ferris Bueller's Thank Day you, Off, Mr. where she Dropping met her boyfriend, home. Matthew Broderick. And then one of the other, I am sure, defining moments in your life happened in Ireland, 1987. You were with Matthew in the car, and that car struck another one, and it ended two lives. What were the days and weeks like for you after that accident? How did you cope? I was in shock because I was the only living witness and Matthew was unconscious and had amnesia and the other two women died. So I was the only one who everyone was looking to me for that what happened and I didn't have the answer. I was putting a cassette in the cassette player at the time and I heard the scream and I looked up. It was devastating. And there's something about near-death experience and being that close to death. And that curtain just goes up and just somehow I slip through. 
Gray also writes about her childhood growing up as the daughter of actress Joe Wilder and Oscar and Tony Award winning cabaret star Joel Gray. Welcome and bienvenue. Welcome. In 2015, her father publicly revealed that he identified as a gay man. So when your father told the world yes. that he was gay at the age of 82, how long had you known? I found out mm, in my late 20s. When it initially came out, I was just so heartbroken that he wasn't able to live his whole truth for all those years, for a lifetime and that if he hadn't done it that way, then I wouldn't exist. And so my gratitude for him to sacrifice himself so that he could have a family and I got to be his daughter, that to me is an enormous gift that he gave to me. You write about your uh, remarkable childhood growing up, you know, in. Broadway dressing rooms with your father watching him on stage and your mother doing the same. I grew up knowing I was the luckiest girl in the world. There was no doubt in my mind. My parents loved me, still love me. I have two 90-year-old parents who I talk to every day. As she looks back on her life and career, Gray is returning to her most iconic role. In a new sequel to Dirty Dancing, Gray will executive produce and star and I am playing baby, and I hope they don't call me Bubby <laughs> at this point. <laughs> there will be dancing, there will be a lot of music and romance, and God, I hope this book will be a template for, you know, what happens to baby. What's the message? What's the reason behind the book? So you don't get out unscathed. For me, the most painful moments, the most confounding situations, are the ones for me that I have grown the most from and that were, I guess, necessary to get me to where I am today, which is happier than I've ever been, is the truth. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.